My name is Dr. Bruce Miller. I'm a professor of neurology and hold the AW and Mary Margaret Clausen Distinguished Chair. I think I tend to like to study things that are not very well understood. By the time I was finishing my fellowship in neurobehavior, I became fascinated by frontotemporal dementia, which is a disorder that affects the front part of the brain, the frontal lobes, the anterior temporal lobes. If it's on the left side of the brain, you see a breakdown of language. If it's on the right side of the brain, it's a disorder of social cognition. Unlike Alzheimer's disease, where memory is the problem, classic frontotemporal dementia strips people of their humanness. Patients lose empathy for others. They become disinhibited. They lose their ability to make rational judgments. They become addiction prone. And I think in general, by the time I see a patient with frontotemporal dementia, the whole social network around the patient has been destroyed. I think the next philosophers, the philosophers of the 21st century, are going to be neuroscientists. This disease, for me, became an inroad, a mirror, into understanding what is uniquely human. Constructs of the sense of self, the very things that we like in a human being, um, begin to disappear. And so I, I began trying to systematically understand what patients look like, what were the imaging correlates of this, were there genes that might predispose people to this uh, type of neurodegenerative disease? Was it really rare, like people had said before, or was it actually common? And so that has really been the body of my research in neurology. The frontotemporal dementia patient is the ultimate underdog, and I, I've uh, wanted to take away the blame um, for their disease and explain to families that it is the specific circuit in the brain that degenerates in front of temporal dementia that changes the person, changes who they were. So I, I think for me, this is a population I really tried to champion. Our neurology department and the Memory and Aging Center at UCSF, uh, in particular, have a real sense of urgency. I think we know a lot about every organ system in the body, but the brain really remains relatively mysterious. I believe that we will be the first center to develop first treatments and then cures for the neurodegenerative conditions.